That's any White House, but in this one, it's particularly cutthroat. To wit, Sarah Sanders, the longest surviving Trump press secretary, may be on her way out. According to a recent Politico report, the White House is preparing for life after Sanders, complete with a short list of potential replacements. On that list, front runner, State Department spokeswo spokeswoman and former Fox News host Heather Nauer, Fox News host Bill Hemmer, former Fox News host Kim Kimberly Guilfoyle, and White House Deputy Press Secretary Raj Shaw round out the list. Many inside the White House consider Sanders a pro who is able to spar with the press in defense of her boss, President Donald Trump, and there is worry it will be tough to find a replacement who can match Sanders' tough exterior. Here are some highlights. So when he sees that he's misspoken, he comes out and he says that. Jordan, follow up on that. Jordan, go ahead. Vote suppression is a huge issue that a community in America has asked about. You're not going to answer me. John, go ahead. He has put unprecedented sanctions and been extremely tough on Russia across a number of fronts, which we've addressed here many times before. Frankly, I'm not sure why that is so hard for the media to write about. I think the president has the ability, unlike a lot of those in the media, to actually focus on more than one issue at a time. I want to bring back my panel on this. Um, Dave, the first obvious question here, I think, is who would want this job? Mm. My question was, does she really need that big of an umbrella? She's always got that gigantic thing. <laughs> Who would want the job? Well, the thing is that there's a lot of uh, good opportunities after the job. So I think that's one of the Usually. reasons why people enjoy it. Maybe not so much with Trump, but, well, no, for any president, it's just like being a professional liar. You just have to get up there and deflect and spin constantly. I will say she's... Whether you like her or not, she's done a pretty good job of it. She's certainly done a much more effective job than uh, Spicer did. Um, but I, you know, it's it's Washington. I bet there'd be a lot of people who would want this job. But Andy, I mean, I think it's actually hard to qualify whether she's been good at this. She's mm. certainly been loyal. Yeah. Um, to Trump sort of serving up whatever BS sure. he's selling. But I don't know. Has she been effective? I guess it depends on how you define her job description. If, if you define it as get the president's message out without regard to whether what you're saying is actually factual or truthful, then she's been extraordinarily well, effective. That's the job. Yeah. But And if you define it as attack and discredit the media, then she's been extraordinarily effective. If you define it as informing the press and the American people so they better know the truth <laughs> on any given subject, she's probably been extraordinarily ineffective. Yeah. But I think we know how the president defines the job description, and by his measure, she's been really an good. audience of one. Yeah. Brian, to Dave's point, yes, usually people, it is it is the number one job for a person in communications or PR to, to end up yeah. uh, the White House press secretary. Yeah. Uh, do people like Sarah Sanders leave this White House with lots of opportunities? I don't think so. I don't think I don't so. Either. You know, look, Dana Perino ended up at Fox. Uh, Gibb ended up at McDonald's. Uh, Carney, Amazon. Right. In the past, it has been a springboard. You look at Sean Spicer, though. He's out with a book today. Big book. He's been all over the airwaves promoting it. It's like number 200 on Amazon. Uh, it's not doing that well. He's not been able to capitalize on his success or infamy at the White House mm -hmm. and turn that into to a big job. Uh, he's been out there shopping a pilot for a TV show, and it doesn't seem like that pilot is going to go forward. So I, I think that's a data point to indicate it's different now. Now, yeah. I could be wrong. Yeah. Sarah Sanders could end up with a show on Fox this time next year and make millions of dollars. That's right. possible. Yeah. But I think the market is is different now in the Trump age. So who do we think is the best kind of person for this post? Is it a former Fox Newser like Kim Kim Guilfoyle or or Heather Nauer? You and I know both yeah. of those people. Yeah. Um, I think Heather is really, really smart and sharp. Um, or is it better someone already serving in the White House like Rod Shaw, who's already part of the apparatus? I mean, look, Rachoff strikes me as someone who is, he seems very competent anytime he, yeah. he's doing it. He seems to do a good job. Uh, Heather Nauer doesn't strike me as a true believer, I, so I don't right. know that she should take the which, job. Right, which could be a yeah, problem. Yeah, Kim Guilfoyle would be hilarious, and part of me honestly <laughs> hopes she gets the job. I, I really why, why, why hilarious? I, just for so many reasons. I, I just really, the wild card, I though, really want her to on that list was not Guilfoyle, it was Bill Hemmer. All of a sudden, Bill right. Hemmer, I don't know he's a news from. anchor on Fox News. Out of nowhere, right. It's kind right. of odd, but then again, Jay Carney was the time D.C. bureau chief. You know, that door does revolve. It is a revolving door. Um, I, I think Hemmer just strikes me. Doesn't he strike you as being too laid back for that job? 
That's interesting. Like Maybe a, a little bit. Yeah, I, I just Maybe don't, I don't think that would but be... Also I, I like Bill a lot. I don't think it would be a good Less a part of the job. If you look at the briefing mm. schedule, there's only been three briefings this month. Uh, the idea of a daily briefing's gone away. Uh, yeah. A lot of Sanders' job is just holding back the press horde right. uh, and appearing in interview spaces instead of taking questions from a group audience. Hopefully that'll change with whoever takes over. If she does step down after the midterms, as is expected, hopefully we'll return to daily briefings, but I'm not going to hold my breath. Um, so the succession plan is reportedly being led by Bill Shine, the new White House uh, Deputy Chief of Staff for Communications, former uh, Fox News executive. What does he want? Does he want someone he can control or does he want someone to keep Trump in line? Does he want someone to beat up on the press? Like what what do you think he's hoping to well, get in a new press secretary? I think it all ends up coming down to what Trump wants in Trump's administration, no matter who's in charge of uh, picking the person. But what the, one of the major differences between being Trump's press secretary and, say, Obama's press secretary, it's not just there's a fair point to the fact that maybe Trump puts you in a little bit more of a diff uh, difficult position, but the media is way more intensely critical of Donald Trump. And so I don't think if you're not someone